The Chaser Election Specials are a number of Australian political satire-based comedy programs produced by The Chaser. The shows, which have run under various titles, provide commentary on Australian federal election and has been produced since 2001 for ABC TV. The first show, The Election Chaser in 2001 was the first ever television production of The Chaser Team. In 2004 and 2007 they produced The Chaser Decides which won the Logie Award for Most Outstanding Comedy Program for the 2004 series. In 2010, The Chaser Team produced a five-episode series about the 2010 election, called Yes We Canberra. A new series was produced for the 2013 election, called The Hamster Decides. The Chaser's election desk aired in the six weeks prior to the 2016 federal election. The show was the first television production of The Chaser Team which had been running their satirical newspaper The Chaser since 1999. An ABC personality, Andrew Denton, offered The Chaser, as a collective, a contract with the ABC and they went on to produce The Election Chaser, which first aired on October 23, 2001. It was based around the 2001 federal election and was presented in the form of an election tally room, similar to the regular ABC election coverage. The presenters were Charles Firth, Julian Morrow, Chris Taylor, Craig Rucastle, Charles Lichardello, and Dominic Knight. The show was nominated for Most Outstanding Comedy Program in the 2002 Logies but lost to the Mikolev Program, which also ran on the ABC. Since the election chaser. The chaser team had gone on to produce CNNNN, a spoof of various 24-hour news networks, which ran in 2002 and 2003. CNNNN won the 2004 Logie for Most Outstanding Comedy Program. With the 2004 federal election looming, the Chaser team decided to produce another series based upon the election chaser. The show was titled The Chaser Decides and ran at the time slot of 9 p.m. Thursday from September 24, 2004 to October 14, 2004. The show was presented again in a national tally room, but only had four presenters in Morrow, Rucastle, Taylor, and Andrew Hansen. Lichardello and Firth did reporting roles while Knight stayed on as a writer. The show was hugely popular and won the 2005 Logie Award for Most Outstanding Comedy Program. The Chaser's Craig Rucastle is pushed away from Senator Bill Heffernan on the 2007 Australian federal election at the National Tally Room in Canberra. Following the second series of The Chaser's War on Everything, the Chaser crew produced two episodes of The Chaser Decides based on the 2007 federal election. The two episodes replaced the war on everything in its time slot for 21st of November and November 28, 2007. The format took the same as the 2004 series. For the 2010 federal election, The Chaser appeared in five episodes of the retitled Yes We Canberra. Four episodes aired before the election date on Wednesdays at 9.45 p.m. and one episode after the election in that time slot. This was the group's first television production in almost a year after the third and final season of War on Everything in 2009. The show premiered on July 28, 2010, with the election to be held on 21st of August. This show's context was supposedly part of news program Late Line with the Chaser team being there to warm up the crowd for Tony Jones or Lee Sales. To this effect the show was held on a set with the same design as Late Line with Jones and Sales making guest appearances. This was changed for the final episode when the show proceeded at the movies, so that set design was used with guest appearances by hosts David Stratton and Margaret Pomeranz. A DVD containing all five episodes plus extras and commentary was released by Roadshow Entertainment on September 16, 2010. Extras include deleted and extended scenes plus behind-the-scenes footage. In March 2012, The Chaser announced the 2013 election series, tentatively called The Election Hamster. It was announced that it will be called The Hamster Decides and the first of five episodes was to air on August 21, 2013. When Kevin Rudd announced the change of election date from 14 to 7 September, the first episode was brought forward one week to 14 August. The show was run at a time slot of 9.15 p.m. on Wednesday. The set used was the same set as The Hamster Wheel. The 2016 series, The Chaser's Election Desk, began on June 8, 2016. New cast members that joined the series included Zoe Norton Lodge, Ben Jenkins, Kirsten Drysdale, Alex Lee, Scott Abbott, Mark Sutton, and Hannah Riley. In November 2018, it was announced that the ABC declined to fund an election special for the 2019 election. Instead, Taylor and Rue Castle hosted a podcast, Democracy Sausage, available for free on the ABC's website. In the later weeks of the campaign episodes were also available on ABC iView and ABC Comedy. On December 3, 2010, 
a DVD titled The Chaser Election Collection was released. It contained every election special The Chaser had screened to date, as well as special features including the never-before-seen The Election Chaser pilot. The Mall Award Every episode of the show ends with a member of the Chaser presenting the Mall Award, named after Mall Menninger's extremely short political career in 2001. Every week, the team present the award to a politician for the greatest act of political suicide during an election campaign. In the November 28, 2007 episode, Menninger satirized himself when brought in to present the award but gave up mid-speech. This person votes a joke featured in all but the 2010 series, the show would often feature short clips of people acting ignorant towards the election. Followed by an on-screen graphic that reads this person votes. For episodes that aired after the election, it was replaced by this person voted. Scrolling news bar for the 2004 and 2007 series, a news bar, similar to the one that would appear in CNNNN, would scroll across the bottom of the screen, with humorous news items. For the 2010, 2013 and 2016 series, it was replaced with fake Twitter updates from celebrities and politicians. Thanks for watching.